I came to Job Corps to have a career and to be something in life. I enrolled because I was getting into a lot of trouble and no other place would accept me. Job Corps has definitely changed my life 100% of the turnaround. It's a second chance for a miracle. Students coming out of Job Corps are giving back to the community that is giving to them when they go into the program. It's one of the few programs that the federal government gets involved with with youth that really shows a return on the investment. It's good to kind of get away from the city and find myself in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> This is about a war on poverty. It was in 1964, President Johnson's War on Poverty program, and uh, they wanted to pattern after the CCC program. The Civilian Conservation Corps of the 1930s gave jobs, housing, and training to Americans who were put out of work by the Great Depression. Camps under the so-called 3C program were built on public lands, and dozens of successful conservation projects were the result. In 1964, this legacy was the model for the new Job Corps, created by the Economic Opportunity Act, signed by President Lyndon Johnson. The program's first director, R. Sergeant Shriver, made visits to many of the first Job Corps civilian conservation centers operated by the USDA Forest Service. Jack Denema led the Forest Service's early efforts. Getting those young people out, working with their hands with an ax and a saw, the fresh air and seeing the scenery, it gave them a work ethic. They knew how to survive in a group environment and work together. Doug Lease, one of the first center directors for the Forest Service, saw results quickly. They learned work skills and they were ended up being hard workers. We began to get them also involved in community activities and it made a very positive relation for them with local people. Today, the U.S. Forest Service manages 28 Job Corps civilian conservation centers on 22 national forests and grasslands in 18 states. Civilian conservation centers were developed to help solve the unemployment issues that we were dealing with and uh, the degradation of our natural resources. Those things haven't changed. We're giving young people a variety of opportunities to become gainfully employed and our students are participating in natural resource conservation management on our national forests, so we serve the public as well. Funded by the U.S. Department of Labor, these CCCs are educating more than 6,000 students aged 16 to 24. They receive free housing, high school diploma or GED, and training in one or more of some 30 trades. After graduation, students receive help with job placement. About 80% of graduates pursue a career, higher education, or military service. So what's it like during a typical stay at a Forest Service Job Corps Civilian Conservation Center? See for yourself. The secret to Job Corps success is never standing still. Forest Service Civilian Conservation Centers are keeping up with changing employment options by focusing on a green curriculum and on training that complements U.S. Department of Agriculture priorities, such as people's gardens, know your farmer, know your food, and many others. The Forest Service Job Corps program produces graduates with a variety of work skills many of which are in demand throughout the private sector and particularly on national forests and grasslands across the country. Entry-level jobs in office automation, 
information technology, facilities maintenance, and other areas are helping the Forest Service achieve its mission of caring for the land and serving people. This environment gives these kids an opportunity to get off the streets, to change their lives around, to focus themselves. They're responsible citizens and they're paying taxes back, so it's a great return on the investment is my feeling. Before Job Corps, I was walking around, living on the streets, and it really improved in my life. Out here in the country, you just kind of find yourself again. <laughs>